Yeah, Jeff, with the Boilermakers falling in their last game against Ohio State, head coach Matt Painter isn't stressing. He said yesterday that there's a lot of coaches that would like to say that they've won nine of their last ten games in major college basketball. He also said that the month of February is tough for everyone because every team is looking to win their league, get a good seed, and make the tournament. When things like that kind of get said and talked about, you got to look into the game. You can't just like talk in theory. A lot of people that don't understand basketball talk in theory. Like go watch our Ohio State game. Like don't turn the ball over. You know, don't turn the ball over. Don't take tough shots. In the first half, we had six bad shots. We had 14 turnovers for the game. And you're like, well, like, how, you know, how'd you lose it? There you have it. Like we're not robots. Like everyone, we're human. We have bad games. We play bad games. We make dumb mistakes. Um, we just were on a nine-game win streak, and then. We lose one game and we're the worst team in the world. So it's just people are going to say what they're going to say. People have said what they're going to say about me for the last three years. It hasn't affected anything I've played. Now the silver lining of last game is that Purdue did go a perfect 20 for 20 from the free throw line where they had previously struggled. But now the main concern is Purdue's offense. Fletcher Lawyer has been struggling from beyond the arc and Ethan Morton doesn't look for his shot when he's on the floor. But Coach Painter said he told Fletcher the other day, you've got a lot of makes coming your way. Keep playing hard and it's only a matter of time. As far as Ethan Morton, Painter said he's got an 8 to 1 assist to turnover ratio and he knows one thing. He helps us win games. Now we're looking at Rutgers warm up right now and Coach Painter said looking at the Scarlet Knights, their defense is their constant. I just think, you know, more than anything they play hard and they, they, they make things hard on you. They, they do a good job of taking away what you want. He's been a really good coach in our league, but defensively they, they, they cause problems, not just for us, but for everybody. Now there are a few bad memories associated with this matchup. When Purdue faces the Scarlet Knights, the Ruck Rutgers has won two of their last three games here in this building at Mackey Arena, and seven of the last eight have been decided by single digits. So tonight, tip-off is set for 7 p.m., and we'll find out if Purdue can bounce back from their third loss of the season. For now, reporting from Mackey Arena, Kelly Hallinan, Sports 18.